15 products from 15 brands under $15. Let's see if we can achieve this one. Hi friends, I have all kinds of goodies for you today that are under $15, things that are really, really good and very affordable for the mature woman. And we are going to be deep diving into all of these products. If you're new to my channel, I wanna say hello, special welcome to you. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope that you do decide to subscribe. And if you've been with me for quite a while, I do appreciate you so much. Thank you for all of your support. Let's get into this right now, and we're going to start off with two of my very favorite setting sprays ever, and that is from Flower Beauty. The setting sprays are the hydrating setting spray and then the glow setting spray. They are super duper fine, so you're not going to get droplets anywhere. It just has the most fantastic sprayer on it. They do also have a regular setting spray like the Urban Decay All Nighter that is for my oily skin gals. If you're someone that has more combo oily skin, that's the one you're going to want to gravitate towards. But this hydrating one has just worked so well for me. It works great through the winter and even the summer. But the one that is the glow one, you can see probably if I hold it up here that it is separated a little bit. So you do have to shake that and it does have a little bit of oils in it So that's where the dewiness comes off if you're again dry skin You're gonna like this so much It's just a beautiful beautiful spray and this one will hold your makeup on all day long if you're a dry skin gal I love these I've talked about them before and I wanted to make sure that they were in this video as well From elf is the halo setting powders. These are so good. They do remind me very much of the hourglass um, veil powder and they are so finely milled and so lovely I do have these on as my powder today to blur out my pores So I have three different colors. One is the translucent color. It is just kind of the clear um, Very light looking color. It doesn't show us anything when it gets on your skin They actually just show up a bit of brightness and I have the pink one and when you have a sallow complexion And you want to brighten up a little bit Sometimes the pink is really nice to go on after your foundation because that pink will definitely bring some brightness to your foundation to your complexion and then I have one that is more along the lines of flesh toned or yellow and this one is really good for brightness too I like them all if I get a foundation that is a little bit too warm I'll go in with the pink that's very brightening if I get a foundation that is just a little bit too cool or gray looking then i'll go in with the yellow one to brighten that so really have loved having these this is a ton of powder in here and i think you're really gonna like it now from nyx i really love this color correcting um, palette that they have i got this fairly recently but i have so enjoyed working with it now i really love the charlotte tilbury one i got during the sephora vib sale but this one does the trick almost identical to it what i do is i take the peach color right here and a little bit of the orange color together and i mix those together on my under eyes and it does such a good job of helping to correct my really really dark circles now if you have a lot of scarring like i have some scarring right here on my cheeks and then some acne scarring back here go into the green and just dot that wherever you need it to be to cover the scarring make sure you go really light-handed with the green if you're as fair as i am if you're darker it doesn't matter as much but when you're fair like i am that can make you look really gray really quickly so go in really light-handed and be precise you might even want to use a brush when using that one and then you know you have the darker one which i probably won't use too much it's kind of really almost a muddy dark color and then the yellow one if you don't have terrible dark circles like i do and you don't want to do the orange or you have a complexion that is more warm you might want to go with the yellow one and then of course the purple one is to brighten so these two right here are the ones that i'm in love with and i feel like are really close to the charlotte tilbury really great consistency they don't make my concealer move around because for one thing what i do is i go in light-handed if i need more i can always build it up but it's harder to take it away so i go in very light-handed and i make sure that i let that dry down while i'm doing other things and that really is the key with good concealer for anything make sure you let it dry down before your last buffing in and the layers have to be super duper light so i really am enjoying this next up or number four is one 
one of my very favorite foundations and, and that is the wet and wild photo focus now i have both i have the matte and i have the dewy and I love them both. I actually have very different colors here. In the dewy, I have soft ivory, and in the matte, I have rose ivory. And I mix these two together, and I will say that I do have to go in with my blue mixing medium a little bit. Not a ton, because when they mix together, they're really great. But I love them together because I get the best of both worlds. I get a really great coverage, and I get a demi-matte finish, meaning that it's not too matte. It does have a little bit of glow, but it's not so glowy that it's going to show my texture. Now, this is what I have on today. It is beautiful. It is just a tad bit light, but I was able to warm it up with some bronzer and it looks really good. So I really love these together and I would highly recommend that even together, um, even when you're spending the most money, which is $6 for the two of them, that's $12 for two ounces of foundation. That's pretty darn good because usually you get an ounce and if you're looking at high end, sometimes you're getting up there into the $40, $50 range. So these are so good and I just love them. Now let's talk about primer. Primer to me has to have certain categories that it hits. It has to be blurring because I do have big pores. It has to hold on to my makeup and it really does need to affect the longevity of my makeup and not look not make my makeup look blotchy or mottled or you know settled or anything into my fine lines or my creases and this one from revlon is one that i absolutely love this is the revlon color stay prep and protect primer base and this one is got an spf in it which i think is fantastic so i do use a separate spf with my sunscreen in the morning but i do let my skincare sink in for an hour or so before I even go in with my makeup. Now, I know that everybody doesn't have that luxury of waiting, but I do. And so having this again, have a little bit of that SPF in it is fantastic. And this just blurs everything out and it does have a tiny bit of moisture in it, which I think is so good. And I really love how long it makes my foundation last. This is a very watery primer, as you can see right there. It just goes across the skin. It blurs everything out and there's that little bit of white cast is what the sunscreen is in there but this is so good i really do love it it's one of those ones that i have reached for over and over again this is probably my third or fourth bottle of it and it's inexpensive enough that it just makes it worthwhile so i love that one now, another powder that I really wanted to talk about in this video is from number seven. This is their Lift and Luminate Pressed Powder. This powder is such a close dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Away um, Pressed Powder. I stick my finger in here and sometimes I feel like it's softer than a Charlotte Tilbury. I just think it's so great. This is one powder that I can very, very lightly use underneath my eyes to have my eyes not crease with my concealer. And using it all over your face, it's just gorgeous. I love the e.l.f. one as well, but this one is equally as beautiful to buff out those pores and still give a little bit of light to your face without showing texture. This is one that I will not be without. It's just that good. And then a concealer. I have talked about this one. One as well. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. This concealer I feel like is the best of both worlds between their regular Conceal and Define and their Hydrating Conceal and Define. It's got a sweet spot right in between there. I love this because it covers up everything absolutely just gorgeously. And I am someone that most definitely has to have full coverage underneath their eyes. My dark circles are blue. They are just blue, blue. And it's so hard for me to find a good concealer that won't crease because I do have big crevices underneath there, but that's going to last all day without settling into those and not make me look like I've just had all the life sucked out of me. This one is really good. I've really enjoyed it since I got it. I would say that between this one and the one in the tube that is from Revolution Pro, which is the ultimate coverage concealer, those are my two favorites ever at the drugstore for my mature 
at your under eyes this one is really great because there is absolutely no concern about it creasing or anything like that so i can really recommend that one it's that good and then from la girl it was probably my hardest one to pick out of because you guys know that i love those palettes from there they are fantastic quality the 16 pan ones and the new nine pan palettes that they just came out with they're so good but Honestly, if I'm going to reach for something every single day and say unequivocally This is my very favorite from the brand. It's from LA girl and this is the pro color Foundation mixing pigment. That's a lot to say. So this is a matte product But it is very blue as you can see if you are somebody that struggles with having orange foundation You're somebody that struggles with your foundations oxidizing You have a very cool tone and even if you buy the ones that say they're pink undertone they're cool undertone They are still way too orange for you. This is your new best Friend. And I have had so many of you say that just buying this right here has saved you so much money with your foundations Because a tiny drop of it can transform your foundation to where you can wear it I had to do that this morning with the wet and wild It doesn't change the formula because you're not using enough of it You're using a very small amount because it's so saturated in pigment It does come in a yellow and orange So if you are a gal that figures that all of these foundations just aren't warm enough for you then that's going to be your best friend pick out whether you have deeper skin with the orange or whether you know You kind of have a more yellowish tone with the yellow grab one of those the white I actually have the white on its way to me because I need that lighter look to my foundations this time of year So i'm really excited to be able to get that one now A lot of you have asked what about going darker? Unfortunately, they don't really have anything like that. I would just suggest the number seven foundation drops they are so good for mixing in with any foundation and not really making the foundation look different so try to find a good color in those and then you have those around to mix in with your lighter foundations to make them darker but this has been a game changer for game changer for me all year long and i can't say enough good about it now along with foundations and how we have kind of gotten away from the matte foundations and how everybody either wants their foundations to look very natural or even luminous this is the spotlight illuminating primer from physicians formula and this is a beautiful product if you are somebody that loves the becca backlight you might really like this i have it in the small size because i wanted to try it out first but it is so good the best thing about this is that you can wear it under makeup and then you can wear it over and i have it on my cheeks a little bit over today and i just think it's so pretty i do have a regular highlighter on as well but this is very very pigmented it is a little bit thicker but thin enough that it just glides underneath foundation and it gives the most beautiful luminosity that you can see right there but what i'll do is i'll spread it across my hand like that pick up just a little bit on two fingers and then i'll just go on top of my cheeks and just pounce, bounce it around pounce bounce it around and you can see how quickly that really made a glow to my cheeks i better do the other one so i'm not lopsided get a little bit of glow going on there but yes that is a beautiful highlighter underneath makeup or over makeup and it is a cream product or a liquid product so if you're somebody that normally shows texture with um, any sort of highlighter that is a powder this might really work for you and you might really love it now next is an actual highlighter which i do love and i do have that on underneath my blush today and this is from juvia's place it's the tribe highlighter volume three I wear this highlighter everywhere. I wear it across my eyes, in the corner, across my brow bone. I wear it just wherever I want highlight, in the cupid's bow right here, if I want a little bit down my nose, over the cheeks, whatever you decide you want. That is gonna be a fantastic highlighter for you. It's very much along the lines of a champagne color. So it has just the perfect mix, almost like an ivory champagne color isn't it beautiful it has such a pretty glow i find that the best way for me to put it on is underneath blush and then whatever you put over top of it kind of just gets that luminous glow to it and this is a beautiful formula it's very creamy it's not going to look like powder on you it just gives you just a beautiful glow and yeah you can beam it out if you want to but you really can sheer it out like i have on my cheeks today so highly recommend that 
that nice packaging. It has a mirror in there and it's a big pan, so it's going to last a long time. On my lips today, I have become a convert. When I first tried this, I didn't like it. And it's the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. I didn't like these at the beginning. I don't know whether I was just having a day when makeup didn't speak to me or what, but I really do like this. And it is what I have on for my gloss today. And you know what? This reminds me of old school yummy gloss when we were in the 80s and we just wore gloss. That's all we wore. It's pillowy and it's lovely as far as its fragrance goes. I know a lot of people don't like fragrance. This is almost a pina colada fragrance. I don't mind it when I do my lip products. Don't want it anywhere else, but on my lip products, I don't mind it at all. This color is ice and it just gives that really juicy look to your pout. I do have a regular lipstick on, but I put this over top of it because it was a little bit matte and I'm a gloss girl. I love gloss lipsticks and I know that with the masks that we're wearing right now, they aren't very practical if you're going out, but I put lip gloss on for me. In the daytime, I wear it and I have been loving this one and they have a bunch of other colors if you want a little bit of a cast of color to your lips. I just think that this is so pretty and I love the formula of it now too. It lasts for a really long time, but it's not one that feels sticky. It so doesn't it feel like you're going to get that little, you know, sometimes you get that stringy stuff when you're wearing gloss and your lips and you know what I'm talking about. It's not good, but yeah, I love this. I think it's a great one. And then I absolutely love the color girl exhibitionist liners now they don't have very many colors of these this one is the emerald one but what they do have they're a great formula you can really take and buff that out if you want to but what's going to happen is that's going to dry down if you want it to be a solid line you know maybe you want to outline maybe you want to line the top lash line or you want to have a nice line on the bottom whatever you like to do in your waterline, these are even going to last. They last maybe two hours in the waterline, which I think is really good because even my very favorite Marc Jacobs doesn't last all day in my waterline because my eyes water because I have contacts. So back to saying that you can blur this out if you want to smudge it out as much as you want to and have the thicker line if you want to as well. And it is going to be budge proof. Now, a lot of people kind of tear up right here in the corner. Again, your makeup's not going to last if you're somebody that tears. It's just the nature of it, you guys. But I do want to tell you about good products that get you get the most lasting power out of. And this is one of them. I love the saturation of these. It's beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful color. And I just think that it's one of those ones that I would absolutely love if they would come out with like 10 or 20 colors of these because I think I would buy just about every one. Seriously, as good as the Marc Jacobs highlighters, which I do love. I do love the Ardell ones too. The Ardell ones seem to last in the waterline a little bit longer, but again, there isn't hardly any colors. And I know there isn't a green one of those. This is just a beautiful eyeliner. Liner. I also want to talk to you about these that I feel like are very overlooked in the makeup world on YouTube and that is these L'Oreal infallible shadows that are the singles. I have loved these for years and years long before I ever had a YouTube channel. These were something special and I always knew it and I want to just show you the swatches. So the one on the top is called Golden Sage. Look how beautiful and saturated that is and the high shine that it has on it. Now normally on a mature woman you kind of gravitate away from high shines, but these will not show up texture. I have these on today. Now I have the golden sage on the outer V right here on my eye. I do have the exhibitionist liner underneath, but I've blended the two together right there in the crease towards the outer V right up here. So pretty. I got to get my spectacles for this. The next one I have is called Timeless Blue Spark, and that is that bright blue right there. This is so beautiful on the lid and then worn underneath to kind of tie a look together and then neutral on the rest. It's just gorgeous. And then the next one is Midnight Blue right there. I guess I should turn these around right there. It's a very deepened blue, almost to the point of being a navy, but just not quite. And then the next one is Liquid Diamond. Diamond, and liquid diamond is right there sandwiched in between these two and that one itself is just gorgeous Now today I do have that one out here just a tiny bit 
on the eye. I do have something else on the lid that's coming, but I really do love the way that these blend out. And on the lid, they are just spectacular. And then the last one that I have is called Purple Priority, and that's the bottom. So that's a very deepened purple, almost a deepened eggplant color on it. I love these. I always work with them either on my lid or in that outer V part to go into the crease. And I don't feel like they show up a bunch of texture. They are just that pretty. Now, what else I do have on my lid is from Sydney Grace. I adore these. Now, this one right here is the one that I have on my lid. And I'm going to figure that out right now. This one is called Down the Coast. And then the purple one is called Wish. You so don't need hardly any anything to come out of this tube in order to get a super saturated look across your lids. I do use a brush. You can use your finger if you're a little bit more steady, but I'm not. So I use a brush and look at the two colors. Aren't they pretty? So this color right here, which is like a champagne, -y, whoops, I just mixed the two together. So that is a little bit of a champagne -y color and I just put it across my lid about two thirds of the way. And then I used a little bit of that green out there and a little bit of the um, silver that I had from the L'Oreal. And then this purple right there across the lid, these are so bright and cheery and they bring such life to your eyes without giving texture. I mean, honestly, you guys, I know that I have a lot of texture on my eyes, but it doesn't show up with these. It's just that pretty. And I think that's the trick is that if you've been someone that shied away from any sort of metallic or any sort of shimmer, try something like this. You might just absolutely love it. And I can't wait to get more colors. These are only $8 and I just think that's so good. Now for my very last product I have from Milani. This is the Cheek Kiss. This one is called Rose Romance. It is what I have on top of my powders today. It's a gel-like formula. I think that formula of it is so nice. And the other thing that I like about it is it doesn't take very much. So you can see that it looks really super dark right there. So what I do is I kind of just spread it across my hand. I'll just take a powder brush in the corner there and then I will dab it across my cheeks. And I'm telling you, I have the most beautiful blush with that. Make sure that you use stippling motions or tapping motions. It works out so much better, but super saturated so it can be built up for my very deepest skin gals. You can absolutely use this or you can really, really sheer it out to where it's just a really super pale color. And they really hug your cheeks all day long. So you have a beautiful flush of color ab from morning until evening. It's just stays with you and it's not going anywhere. And again, you don't need to powder over it. So you can keep that luminous look to the liquid with the highlighter that I was talking about earlier under it without powdering over it and making it look more dull. And I think that's really the trick to it. So that is everything that I have for today. That is all of my recommendations under $15 from 15 brands. I hope that you did enjoy this. I really enjoyed bringing it to you. Please give this video a thumbs up. Is there products that are around $15 or under that you absolutely love and that you'd like to tell us all about? Let us know in the comment section. I always love to get you guys recommendations and then go ahead and see how they work for me as well. And I really appreciate your input too. Thanks everybody for spending a bit of your time with me today. I hope everybody is doing well. Please stay happy, stay healthy, stay sanitized, stay safe out there. I will catch you all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.